before your word, we humble ourselves, Jesus, that you may speak. Father, as you go to the Lord, you see yourself to your God, and you see to your God, you see yourself 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 Amen, amen. Unfortunately, it is out. I don't have to use my phone. He said he doesn't have a Israeli Bible. Hallelujah. Amen. I'll open your Bible in the book of Matthew chapter 7. Are we proceeding with the, uh, with the teaching that we started last week? Lord teach us to pray. Uh, which says in English, uh, Lord teach us how to pray. Yes. And uh, we kill your Peter to this Umza Kusu Modelia Maumbi. And last month we talked about different modules ma ma of prayers. To call it this above a mungu. And we saw how the son Jesus taught us how to pray. And I'm thanking even the leaders uh, in our prayer lines this time on the same uh, topic. Teaching us how to pray. Amen. Amen. I believe that your life, uh, your life of prayer is going to be, is going to be different. And God will give you the grace so you can hold on to those prayers. You won't start by giving up. How to answer na kuri nyuma. You won't start by going back. Na kiri mungu atakupa neme akupanda viwango katika ba. God, God is gonna give you uh, the grace of you accelerating to different stages. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mungu atakuwa na kukupa neme. God is gonna give you that grace. Kama ufika kwa mwezi wa kumi na mbili mwaka huu. So that whenever we reach December this year. Utakuwa umeendelea kupanda katika viwango vya maombi. You're gonna be growing in the lack of prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, in Swahili, they say it's not the power of soda. You know, when you shake the bar of soda, you know how it goes. And it, and it gives out the, uh, the gas. But we believe that we have the power of the Holy Spirit. Which Hallelujah. Uh, in the book of Matthew chapter 7. And we're going to read from uh, verse 7 all the way to 8. He says, pray and then. Seek and you find. Amen. Amen. As I was proceeding chapter the same chapter seven verse twelve. Uh uh Kuna to you pick one by Mwanaya Kimoba Kate Tampa Jiwe, our Kyoba Samaki at Tampanyoka, Basiki or Nini Mio Alvo, Nadio Kwapa to win be power viema. JC Zaini Sana Baba Yeno and Yabinguni at Awapa Mema Wawa Mombao. Basi Yoyote at Takayomba Takayo Takayo Tende in Awatu. The power of persistent prayer. Okay, the power of resisting prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. Gufu ya maombi ya kudumu. The power of resisting prayers. Persistent. 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 Yeah. Persistence prayers. Amen. Amen. Gufu ya maombi ya kudumu. Say the uh, power of persistent prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. Haitoshi tu kuomba. Uh, it doesn't take only prayer. Uh, 
But it's all it's all requires to stay uh, persistent. Si Dieu tunakubali ana mtoto wangu. Amen. I, I push to kumomba Mungu. It's not enough just praying God. Na najua kuna watu ambao wanaomba mara chache chache. And I know there's people who pray just a few times. Na wanasubiria majibu hawayaoni and they are waiting for answers but they don't receive them. Ni kwa sababu wakati mwingine hatujaomba kwa kudumu. It's because sometimes we haven't prayed while we are persistent. Na kwa hiyo Mungu ameniletea ujumbe huu kwako kwamba mwaka huu ni mwaka wa kudumu. Mimi sasifiwe. Amen. How can you get to the chapo cha siri cha maombi dakika moja dakika mbili? You won't get into your prayers uh, room and pray for only one day. Lakini itakuwa ni mahali pa maingilio yako. But it'll be a place that you're gonna go all the time. Hallelujah. Amen. Itakuwa ni mahali pa makao yako. That'll be your palace. Na ujue kwamba shetani haogopi watu wanaoomba. And don't think that Satan is only scared of people that pray. Ana ogopa watu wanaodumu katika kuomba. He's scared of people who stays in prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. Na kitu kikubwa ambacho shetani anajaribu kuwafanya kwa watu wanaomjua Mungu na wanaojua maombi and they think that there's a certain doubts to people that knows God and stay and pray. Anajaribu kuwavunja moyo katika kuomba. He tries to uh, uh, put them down when it comes to prayers. Like Hallelujah. Them down. Amen. Kwa hiyo hata kuja akikufamia wewe moja kwa moja. He won't just come and attack you right away. Atakuja kufamia maisha yako ya maombi. So he'll come and attack your life of prayer. Atakuja kishambulia kile kinachokupa nguvu katika Mungu. So he'll come and then attack whatever gives you strength in God. Tunaelewa na tutamu. Are you guys getting it? Kwa hiyo mwaka huu So this year tume tumejitanga this year we are proclaimed kwamba ni mwaka wetu wa kumuomba Mungu kutufundisha kuomba that this is our year that we're going to ask God to teach us how to pray mtume kwamba tumemtangazia na ibilishi pia you have to know that we have for announce that to the devil as well kwamba kingdom life imeamua kunitangazia mimi so that the kingdom life has, has decided to announce that na pamoja na serikali yao together with my government kwamba tuko tayari kupambana na wao that they are ready to fight with us kwa hiyo jumbe huu unakuja kukujulisha na kukukumbusha it won't be easy so this message is coming to tell you that haitakuwa rahisi hallelujah amen brother you said uh, i think was it on uh, saturday brother you said that thing what the march friday friday ndio kwa kwa maombi akazungumzia tofauti kati ya civili na the warrior na uh, aka he talks at the difference between uh, mtu kawaida na mtu wa vita. Okay. Raia. Raia. Na askari. Na askari jeshi. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Na wakati anazungumza hivyo kuna vitu Mungu akaanza kuweka ndani ya moyo wangu nikaanza kufunguka akili. So when he, when he was saying those things there's something that God was putting in my heart. Unapo sign up for jeshi, uh, whenever you sign up to be an army. Una sign up for a different kind of life. Uh, una sign kuingia katika maisha tofauti ambayo mtu wa kawaida hawezi that a regular person cannot nyie mnaamka saa 9 asubuhi wanajeshi so you guys uh, you wake at 3 a.m. in the morning wale wazazi wetu ambao walipitia jeshi mimi sikupitia jeshi nashukuru Mungu my parents that went to the army uh, for me they are not going to the army lakini wanatuambia nyakati zingine wanaamshwa sometimes they they'll be a work uh, they'll be a work na walikuwa wanapewa chupa ya soda and they'll give them the the uh, soda the bottle bottle of soda uonge maji yaliyo ndani ya chupa ya soda so you are given for you to take bath on uh, the, in the water this uh, yani utoke msafi so, and you have to come out clean umetipaka nani ni sabuni so you uh, you like you, you use the soap you apply, you apply the soap na ile sabuni iondoke utoke vizuri and make sure you clean the soap you come out clean unalala na maguti but you sleep with the boots Amna haje kuweka maguti siku wapi kuni ndio unalala na maguti mkiamsha asubuhi tayari maguti ziko miguu you sleep with the boots that way if they wake you up in the morning you're ready to maana wanajeshi wakitoka kule wanatuona what kind of life is these people living so that's why uh, wanajeshi wakitoka kule wanatuona wanasema ni maisha gani watu wanaishi na wengi wakianza kuchukua ile discipline ya maisha yao ya jeshi wakianza kuhamisha kwenye maisha yao mengine and when if those people they will take those stuff the, the love that they had in army and then start applying those discipline so wanaanza kuona mafanikio right away they start seeing success unapoingia katika ukristo so whenever you go into christianity you may sign up for jeshi you have to know that whenever you you, you, you become yeah. so if you live like a regular civilian well any majeruhi before time so it's like you want to get injured before even the time all right so you got to get it it is just a matter of time when you become a casualty ni muda kidogo tu basi utakiwa kuwa heavy cup hallelujah 
So now when we talk about prayers, warriors pray persistently. Wanajeshi wanaomba kukupendelea. They know this is a lifestyle that they have been called to. They cannot do otherwise. This is what they have to stick to. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Daniel, Daniel, in the book of Daniel says when Daniel started praying. The that God heard his prayers and he, uh, he released the answers. Okay. Lakini majume hakufikia Daniel mpaka baada ya wiki tatu. But Daniel did not receive those answers after three weeks. Kwa sababu hapo katikati palikuwepo na mapigano kati ya yule malaika aliyetumwa na Mungu kuleta majibu because right here in the, uh, in the middle there was the uh, the angel that was fighting with the, uh, the spirit of devil that was fighting against the angel that God sent to send the answers. Hallelujah. Amen. Kwa hiyo Biblia inasema kwamba Mungu alikusha kusikia tokea siku ya kwanza ilipoanza kuja. So the Bible says that God had already heard when he started praying. And he had already said he said it. But there was a battle, there was a battle that delayed the answers. Hallelujah. Amen. When within those three weeks, Daniel did not start praying. So the prayers uh, kept on uh, empowering the angel that was fighting the so they can bring the answers to him. So this is teaching us that whenever we start praying, our God is not there. It does not take God three weeks for him to see the Bible teaches us that even, even if we, whenever, before even pray, God already knows what we need. But a disconnect between the spiritual realm and the physical realm. Amen. 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 There's a this right. And even some of us we haven't received the answers because we still It's not a God in that list. Mungu alijibu. I responded. Lakini hatukukaa kwa hudumu kuendelea majibu. But we did not stay firm waiting for the answers while we said some prayers. Okay? persistence prayer. Kwa hiyo hudumu it makes, it makes a way for us to be patient and wait for God. Right. He says in the book of Isaiah, those who are waiting for God, they shall renew their strength, they shall be mounted with wings like eagles. Hallelujah. Amen. Here, Isaiah, the Bible, the Bible, the uh, that book of Isaiah chapter 40 is talking about prayers. It's not just saying that you, you just have to be there waiting, waiting, just there. Oh, I'm waiting for the bus to go to downtown. And you say, I'm just waiting for the bus. No, 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 you are waiting in prayer, in position. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This year I'm praying that God should give you strength. Ya kuomba na kudumu katika maombi. The strength of praying. In fact, mwambie Mungu. In fact, mwambie Mungu. Mwambie Yesu. Tell Jesus. Nipe ngufu. Give me power. Ya kudumu. To stay katika maombi. In prayers. One more time to say me. Yesu. Say one more time. Jesus. Tupatia ngufu. Give me strength. Ya kudumu. To stay katika maombi. In prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. Sasa katika ile Mathayo 7 to your soul. So now on the chapter that we read. Matthew chapter 7. Kuna vitu vitatu Yesu anavizungumzia kuhusu kuomba. There is three things that God is talking about. Jesus is talking about. Anasema hivi kwamba ombeni. He says pray. Na kisha anasema tafuteni. And then he says seek. Na kisha anasema bisheni. And he said knock. Na vyote hivi vinahusiana na maombi. And all these are equivalent to prayer. Lakini ziko katika ngazi tofauti. But they are in dumu bila kuomba. Au kiingereza anasema uliza. Okay. I can ask you for something even if I'm away from you. I might be in my home and text you. Or I might be in my home and text you. Or I might be in my home and text you. And then I'll text and say, Brother Josh, please, can you save me $50? I'm home. That's the first one. Maybe Josh can respond or can take long for him. I'll take a look at my phone. I'll take a look at my phone. 
Oh, I'm a fan. My cash app already uh, received the money. I didn't move from where I am. I didn't use any mental capacity. That's the first step of prayer. And there's people who just repent. Oh, they just say, Father, just need this. So he, he does that prayer for the first week. And then two weeks, two years, he just quiet. There's nothing happening. There's nothing happening. So he just abandoned. That's the first stage of prayers. That was not the will of God. Did you pray until when you got a confirmation that that was not the will of God? So I'm asking, uh, did you did you guys pray until when you got a confirmation that this is not a, the, the plan of God? No, you did. You did not get a confirmation. And most most of Christians we only ends there. So you all even go in the Bible and try to find a scripture that's gonna take you away from the faith. And then you start searching some words that says God wills you gonna do it, doesn't will, then it's not gonna happen. Let me tell you this. If you start staying uh, persistence in prayer, this is not guaranteed It's not guaranteed that every prayer will be answered. If I say answer it, it means you just wait uh, not to happen exactly how you want it to be. But if you stay persistent in prayers, so you start understanding the, uh, the will of God in that, in that need that you have. Amen. 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 You start understanding the heart of God in that Kuna watu ambao there's people wenyewe wanaomba that praise kwa kudumu kiasi kwamba wanapoanza tu ombi that whenever they only starting to pray about need wanaanza kujua mwelekeo wa lile ombi this one of them unamwambia kwa nini auombi so you ask her why you not pray who's really down because uh, uh, about the, this thing that ana kwambia conviction and you're nine that so she tells you about the conviction who's really down about the, the it takes people pray. who pray a lot and consistently. Uh, right. yes. I know you might pray for people and they die. Ukikana mungu long enough, uh, if you stay with God long enough, this person is supposed to go home. Does this make sense? Yeah. So much. You know the heart of God in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. right. okay. So I, I want you to make that clear. Mm -hmm. okay. So Gazia Kwanza Niku ask. Uh, the first stage is for you to ask. Gazia Pira Sema search. Tafuta. And the second one says search. Kutafuta ni nikita kwa chukina kuitagi mwana more focus, more attention. Uh, uh, searching is something that needs you to have more focus and attention. Come on in at after dollar uh, if, come on, if I'm looking for fifty dollars, then I will tell you a dollar I, I'm in need of fifty dollars. I will tell me for me to rise from one dollar. Or oh, I should write down and see how many people I can ask for fifty dollars. Oh, okay. Niko na 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 brother Joshi. Shinika na brother Joshi. Na brother Innocent. Shinika na Innocent. Tamalizia Gilbert. So actually, when I answer, I will start with brother Joshi. It doesn't go work. I will go to brother Innocent and then maybe I will end up at uh, brother Yo, Gilbert. That takes more energy. Ujoma ba ina chukua energy ya kuliko kumtext mtu mo de na pnyamaz. Ah, uh, you know, to, the, the text in one person and be quiet. That's a second stage of prayer. This is searching. Ah, uh, ini kutafuta. Hallelujah. Amen. Ana sema katika Yeremia 33 tumekuwa tukisoma wiki hii ni napoongoza maombi anasema hivi kwamba call unto me. Ah, uh, in the book of Jeremiah 32 33 says. Ana sema call unto me, sio? Inasema niiteni and I will show you great na itaonyesheni mambo makuu and unsearchable na visivyoonekana. So now when you start to pray, call God. 
God is willing to show you greater things. His willing is not to show you the simple thing that your friends already know. The will of God is to show you great and mighty things. There are the things in the scriptures. Do you remember Joseph? Do you think those dreams that Joseph, Joseph was just dreaming just anyhow? No, he was a man of prayer. He was a man of communion with the Father. So when Pharaoh had that dream, uh, so Yusuf has the access to know that the will of God through that uh, the dream. Hallelujah. Amen. The man says what we should na tunakuwa na tunakuwa na hofu sana and uh, that's why we as pastors sometimes we have uh, we have worries. Tunaposikia mtu anaweza kuota ndoto anaweza kutafsiri vitu lakini sio mwombaji. When somebody has the uh, the ability of uh, interpreting the the, the the, uh, the dreams and that person is not even a believer. Oh, maybe And he says, Me, since when I was young, I used to know things before they even happened. <laughs> you ask them, hey, Are you a believer? You say, oh. Are you filled with the Holy Spirit? No. Do you, have, do you go to church? Do you have a pastor? Do you know the word of God? No. But you know everything that's going to happen in 2024. Church rise. Acts 16. Uh, Matendo sura ya 16. Paul na sila wako Philip. Paul and Silas they were Philip. Wanahubi neno la mungu takati. They were preaching the word of God. Biblia na sela wako arigopo binti moja kitekas. The Bible said there was this lady. That every time the Paul and Silas were going to pray, and the lady was telling people, hey, you need to listen to those uh, servants of God. Everything that they say is true. But the spirit that's, that's using her to say that divination. Divination spirit. Even that type of spirit is going to churches. Mm -hmm. So that spirit is working in churches. I'm a prophet and I'm a prophetess. So you guys will hear different prophets and prophetai. When I operate in that. Is it also so what? Kundalini? Spirit, right? Yeah, Kundalini spirit. There's a spirit called Fake Holy Ghost. Ni rom takatifu wa wongo. Na watu wa sioka na mungu wa sioka katika nilu lake. And those people who do not stay in uh, close to God, even uh, reading the uh, word of God, one up there. Those people are being taken away. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 That's the second stage. Amen. And the third stage, Ni Kunok. Ni Bicha. Ni Kugonga. Kugonga Mlamu. Ni Kim Text, Brother Josh. If I text Brother Josh and he doesn't respond, and I need fifty dollars, I send for fifty-two dollars. Because the two dollars, guys, and whatever I need. That is the highest level of prayer. So I leave my home. I don't care if Josh is sleeping or is awake. I don't care if Josh is sleeping or is awake. I'm using everything. I'm asking Josh. And I'm asking Josh, you gonna mulize. Pastor ni mekuja ya tomani. Pastor I'm here man. Natumia mdomo wangu. I'm using my mouth. Natumia akili yangu na focus yangu yote. I'm using my brain and my own. Muda ule ninachofikiria ni Josh wa kunipa mimi dola msini. Sifikiri vitu vingi. Ah hiyo ni kiwango cha juu cha maombi. When you get to this place of prayer, ukifika kwa hii sehemu ya maombi, you are totally consumed. Ni kama vile umesha 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 Yes. You are totally consumed with the matter, with the issue. Now, when you are going to come to the issue, and there is people that come to pray, they don't see it. They don't see it. And there is people that come to pray, they don't see it. They don't see it. They don't see the results of prayer. Because whenever they pray, they don't see it. 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 They
you know, Joshua, Joshua Kishido, who gave me a million dollars, I think that he popped uh, out this weekend. So it's like people coming to prayer with a type of mindset, like he was going to pay uh, Joshua for fifty dollars, but in his heart, it's like if he doesn't pay me, it's fine. I know we're going to get our pay. You know, this Friday. this Friday is payday. Now, in Friday, I'm going to go to the pocket of pesa. So I simply put it. It's okay. It, it's not too bad. Come on, you pay pesa. I'm going to share. Now, what to mount? Like lifestyle, you mount here to be There's people that that uh, prayers. Lifestyle Hebrews chapter 1, uh, verse 16 says, Anybody that comes to God without faith, cannot receive anything. Uh, without faith, you cannot uh, please God. People forget whenever we start getting into praise God sees what is inside your heart than what can be if God sees you are on the door you are knocking with your brain, your mouth, your heart and everything then God says this is something that I have to look on to God is going to answer that. If you fall, all your focus was not on to him. So how is God going to take his glory if he does, nobody knows that he's the one that did that? Maybe it was that Friday paycheck. Maybe it was that Friday paycheck. Nah, that was not God. Na Mungu atahakikisha kwamba anaachilia vitu vingine vyote vifeli. Na a God is gonna is gonna is God to do that. Does this make sense? Jema naelewa. Amen. Kwa hiyo hii ni ngazi ya juu ya maombi. This is uh, the, the top level of prayers. Ukisoma katika Luka 18 mstari wa kwanza mpaka wa 8, if you read in the book of Luke chapter 8, Luka Luke 18, 18. Luke chapter 8 verse 18. Biblia inazungumza kuhusu the Bible says about mwanamke mjane about the uh, widow, a widow a widow woman. Ambaye alikuwa anakuja kwa jaji kwa kadhi she was going to a judge. Okay, Biblia yako iko tofauti kidogo feruzi. Inahitaji hmm. Ngoja tena kama ipata, okay? Ustadi sura ya 18 inasema akawaambia mfano wa kwamba imepasa kumomba Mungu siku zote wala msifanye nini wasikate tamaa. Akasema palikuwa na kadhi palikuwa mwanamke mjana aliyeva out. Si kwa sababu alitaka. It's not because he wanted to give. Lakini kwa sababu alichoshwa. But because somebody was uh, getting on his name. Tuendelee mstari wa 6. Bwana akasema sikilizeni asemaje ndio ile kadhi dalimu. Na Mungu je hata wapatia haki. Unasikia? Wateule wake wanamlilia mchana na usiku. Kwa hiyo wateule wake wanatakiwa kufanya kumlilia mchana na usiku that his people needs to pray for him pray to him nights and days naye ni mvumilivu kwao and is special to them na waambia atawapatia haki upesi walakini atakapokuja mwana wa damu je ataiona imani duniani He's going to give them his need by if the son of man come back on the earth. So there was this widow that she reached at the stage of knocking. I don't know how she started. Maybe she's first uh, sent out people. Maybe she, maybe she sent she was sending people out. Can you go to the judge and talk for me? She probably wrote a, a, a letter. And she did not get the answer. So there was a time when she decided that she had to go there by herself. So she started seeing, uh, people started seeing her in the office of that judge. Hallelujah. Amen. And the judge said, even if I do not believe in God. But these people is going to tire me out. And because of that, I'm going to give that person the need. And Jesus said, so how about you, God? Jesus said, it's not not above that. Hallelujah. Amen. Is God not really above above that? The God that you said is not, is not great. Hallelujah. Amen. Persistence in prayer. Sema persistence in prayer. Sema kudumu katika maombi. Hallelujah. Amen. Sasa tuangalie baadhi 
ya vitu ambavyo unatakiwa uwe unatafuta katika maombi. So let's see the, uh, some of the things that you have to be looking for in prayers. Zaburi 27 mstari wa 8 mtu mmoja asome. Uh, in the book of Psalm 27 mstari wa 27 8 Ndio mwingine asome 34 10 and another one we're going to read here uh, 39 10 34 34 na mwingine asome 105 mstari wa 4 and another one should read uh, 105 verse 4 verse 4 na mwingine 119 mstari wa 2 and another one is going to read uh, 119 verse 2 hallelujah amen zaburi 27 Seek what? The Lord and his strength. Tafuteni Mungu na nguvu zake. And what? His face. Na sura yake, uso wake. So those are the things you should be seeking. Ndio kitu ambacho unataka kuwa unatafuta. Sio ugali. It's not fufu. Kumwomba ugali Mungu is the lowest level of prayer. Uh, praying God to give you fufu is ni kiwango kia chini sana. I know some of you from the end of the funga Mungu hatuna ugali. I know some of you guys are uh, you're fasting or you're praying God we do not have all our That is the level, lowest level of prayer. Hiyo ni kiwango ya chini ya maombi. I'm not saying you shouldn't ask. Sisemi kwamba usiombe Mungu. But you don't dwell on those things. Lakini sio kwamba ni sio vitu ambavyo unataka kutia mbele zaidi. Uishi katika hiyo mambo. Okay? So you seek the Lord in his face. Kwanza unamtafuta Mungu na uso wake in his presence. Na so you should always look for two things from God. Kuna vitu vile ambavyo uko unatafuta mbele ya Mungu. He himself, yeye mwenyewe and his power na nguvu zake. When you get to that dimension, ukifika kwenye hiyo kiwango, you don't need to ask for anything. Hautaomba omba kitu tena. Why should you ask why you are living with God? Utauliza uliza nini wakati unaishi na Mungu? Because when you appear God has appeared. Kwa sababu unapotokea na Mungu naye ametokea. And whenever God appears there is no lack. Na wakati kwenye Mungu akifikia yaani hakuna mahitaji hapo. If you ever wanted tukiingia kwenye chumba chenye giza tukiwasha taa. Ah je usha wewe kufikiria whenever we get, we get into a dark room and there's no light. Tukiwasha ile taa na taa zina wakati. If we turn on the lights like this. Giza wewe ndio. So where does the, uh, the dark goes to? It goes away. Si hayo bora mimi giza ni content na kufanya vifunjo na kusema you know what goja nikae hapa hapa pembeni hapa kwenye madhabao. I've never seen the dark going coming up one place and say hey you know what I'm going to stay here. And, it's, gonna and stay so here. your god is light. Sasa kama Mungu wako ni mwanga. Okay? When, when your god appears, life appears, death has to leave. Ah yeah. uh, Mungu akitokea ni kama vile uh, kitokea na kifo lazima kikimbie. Ndio maana ilibidi Yesu abebe mwili wa mwanadamu aruhusu yani aruhusu ajiruhusu kufa he had to give himself a permission to die amen Does it make sense Otherwise angeza hata kukaa kwenye ule mwili miaka yote mpaka leo ajapo Otherwise Jesus would have sat on the body until now he couldn't be in there until now Lakini ilibidi akubali kubeba nature ya mwanadamu mwili wa mwanadamu by hard to take him to agree for him sake na madhaifu yake and take the weakness of uh, uh, the weakness of the body of a, a human being. Hallelujah. So tafuta Mungu. So seek God. Ningeni. Eh uh, ulipata hivi. Okay. Tayari. Ninasema uliposema nitafute mtoto wangu moyo wangu kwa kiwango cha kwanza. Most the highest desire. Hiyo ndio kwanza kitu cha kwanza cha wewe kutafuta. Kuna maombi mengi tunafanya ambayo hata Yakobo amesema katika Yakobo 4 kwamba sio maombi yaliyo sawa. Ah there is a place in Jacob chapter 4 that says that if there's yes. a prayer that we do that we do we that but it's not like really uh, important prayer. James chapter 4. James chapter 4. Okay? Kwanza ile mstari wa 3. Anasema mnaomba vibaya ndio maana hamna hamna hiyo. 
He said that you guys are praying wrongly, that's why you guys do not receive. Oh, Mungu Baba inaomba bosi wangu afe. Now you bring that, oh my God, I need my supervisor to die. So I can take his position. You say that we're going to take the I'm going to look at this Gentile, we're going to take their property. Look at this uh, Gentile who is now circumcised. Father, kill him. Kill him this night. Like, what kind of thing uh, we should seek him? We say about your heart to see you. I am your greatest reward. No, no, yeye mwenye Mungu ndio thawabu yetu. Mungu mwenyewe ndio thawabu yetu. Sio vitu anapotupatia. No, no, no. It's not about the thing that he gives no, us. Yeye mwenyewe ndio thawabu. He's, he's, the, he's the reward. Okay? So what's the other thing that we have to search uh, from God? Mm -hmm. Okay. Those who keep his testimonies and seek him with their whole heart. One of Dr. Mungu, Komoyo, what? Amen. Okay. So, Mungu, so whenever you start searching for God, so he's, he, he, so he's looking, he's your leg with one leg inside and another one outside. <laughs> I know. So God is seeing that. Okay. So our last, our last scripture is coming from uh, uh, Psalms. 34, 10. 34, 10 says, the young lion suffer, suffer and hunger, but those who seek the Lord love no good sin. Now, you will suffer, you will suffer, you will be like the lions. So now, you will suffer, you will be like because of only things, you're going to suffer. Like You'll be like the young lion. But those who seek God himself, and I they will lack no good. Yes. 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 Yes, Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18. Thessalonians uh, 5 to 18. No, 5, 16, sorry. Surah Atano, Mustara, Pina, Sita. Yes. And this is first the Thessalonians, or that with Thessalonica of ones. Thessalonians, uh, the first full of this, uh, Thessalonians. Persistence in prayer, need to do not just a woman's hell. Persistence in prayer. So, we don't want to come home. We don't want to come home, yes. 5, 16. Surah Atano, Mustara, Pina, Sita. Oh, we got the wrong chapter. So this is where. Fry ni siku zote, ombeni bila kukoma. Yes. Shukuruni kwa kila jambo maana hayo ni mapenzi ya Mungu kwa yeye. Yes, yes. Shukuruni kwa kila jambo hayo. Anasema ombeni bila nini? Bila kukoma. Bila kukoma. men ought to pray without ceasing, okay? Because I mean, so repair. Furaini siku zote, ombeni bila kukoma. Shukuruni kwa kila jambo maana hali mapenzi ya mungu kwenu katika kristo. Yesu. Now, mwaka huu tuta omba bila kukoma. So this year we're gonna pray with that stopping. Na siyo kwa jiri ya kujilinganisha na mingi kanisa na gini ya watu flani. And this is not comparing ourselves to other people or other churches. It's for us to bring the will of God into our lives. Amen. Amen. Na vitu vingi mungu atatuonyesha. Nakuisha kusema kwamba I'll show you great and mighty things. And uh, God is going to show us a lot of things. Let us know that tuonyesha mambo mengi na ziada tu siyo njoo. Hali ya kutafuta mungu katika maombi. So the thing of us searching God through prayers. Na mahasa mambo ya kudumu persistence prayers it's a, it's a way of trying to communicate with God all the time what about to go to na to kwenye doa labda tuna waume wake those people are married tunajua hivi kwamba kama mahusiano yetu yako mazuri tunapenda kuzungumza na wake zetu we know that hiyo ni persistence eh hiyo ni kudumu na wakati mwingine wake zetu wanatuambia stories ambazo umeshatuambia mara nyingi tunazisikiliza tena Sometimes our wives will tell us the same stories that they have told us already a long time ago. It's but we're going to listen to them again. It's just a different version. 
wanaupata katika mtindo uh, wengine. Hallelujah. Amen. But you are enjoying the relationship so much. Lakini unafurahia hiyo mahusiano sana. And you keep quiet and you're ready to listen again. Na unakaa kimya tena unasikiliza. That is your father in heaven. That's how he is. Ndio kisi Mungu wa mbinguni alivyo naye. He sits there and he's ready to listen again and again and again. Anakaa pale na yuko tayari kusikiliza tena na kusikiliza tena. Because persistent prayer is communication. Kwa sababu maombi ya kudumu ni mawasiliano. Maombi ya mara moja moja Uh, the praying of only one time of they once connect you from true friendship with God. Inakutoa karibu na ile mahusiano ya ya uhalali na Mungu. Na Mungu akitupa neema tutafundisha unaweza ukawa na maombi yanayo connect every time you go into the throne of God. Na nitafunua nikafundisha kuhusu maombi gani ambayo yanaweza kuwa na kutia karibu sana na kukaribia ile enzi ya Mungu. Wangapi ambao kwa sababu labda unajiona kuna muda una disconnect na na Mungu because there's some time when you feel like you are kind of disconnected it's not always that always that labda wangapi miongoni mwetu ambao kwa sababu una unajoy kama kuna muda una disconnect na Mungu hauko hauko umeunganika na Mungu na how many of us sometimes we feel like we are disconnected from God na unaporudi tena kwa Mungu and then whenever you go back to God maombi yako yamejaa mmoja tena mmoja I know everybody glory be ni kwa sababu unakwenda kwa Mungu mara moja kwa mwezi. Is because you go to God only like once a month. So the next time you go after a month, so wakati kina ukienda badala ya mwezi, you have to revisit that conversation ndio tokea mwezi uliopita. It's like you going back again to the same uh, conversation that passed last month. And that conversation started by God I'm so bad. Na ile conversation yako ilianza na kusema Mungu I know I should be praying more but I don't pray more. Najua kwamba ninatakiwa kuwa naomba sana na kisu wangu naomba. And the enemies around there na adui ambaye yuko karibu na wewe atahakikisha ile maombi ni 5 minutes so the the enemy will try like his best like within those five minutes of and you're not going to pray for another month and then you're not going to pray again utaomba tena zaidi ya ile mwezi na utakaporudi utarudia pale pale and then when you come back again you go back the same oh, place oh lord you know natamani sana kuomba lakini you just know my heart i'm sorry forgive me unaanza kuomba tena Mungu unayapenda ni kwa naomba lakini unajua moyo wangu so maombi yako haya move from just the entrance into dwelling into being at the feet of the father maombi yangu na bakili yetu pale mlangoni haiendi mpaka ifike kwenye miguu ya Mungu labda kuna kitu kinaje ilelewa ngoja niweke mfano katika maybe some people they have understood me so I'm, I'm, I'm kama mimi na victoria hatuongei sana if me and victoria we not talking na kila wakati tunapoongea tunaongea dakika tano. And each time that we speak me and Victoria we only talk five minutes. Zile dakika tano zitakuwa za kuombana msamaha. Those need to be tunaondoka. Everybody goes on his way. Wengine maisha yenu maombi ya kwa hivyo pesa baba. Some people their prayers is just like that in front of God. Every time you meet God, uh muda wote ambapo unapokukaribia you have to revisit saying that you know I wish we could talk a little bit more lakini like haitokei. Okay. Ah uh, ni kama vile una una unaweza na pale pale unasema Mungu ningetamani tukua naomba tena niko naomba niko na lakini hiyo it's okay. Something happens when you begin to persistent to play, pray. Ah uh, kuna kitu ambacho kinatokea wakati unapo unaanza kudumisha uh, maombi. You graduate from that language. Ni kama vile una unahitimu kwenye hayo kwenye hiyo lugha. Unaingia kwenye hali ya kuweza kusikia ukaribu na Mungu kwa haraka. So you get into a place where you start feeling you are close with God kuna wangapi ambao huwa ukiingia kuomba wanasikia kama vile labda pana uzito how many people whenever they start praying they feel like this there's a uh, there's something which is we have, we have like also gone through that it is what I'm going to wakati mwingine ni kwa sababu hatupersist katika maombi uh, sometimes it's because we, we are not persistent in prayer kwa kila wakati tukirudi the ceiling is still there na tukirudia ni kama na kuingia uponi kwa Mungu unaingia kwa haraka and for you to get in presence of God you enter there like too fast too quick ndio maana kuna wengine mnakaa kanisani labda unamshaka eh huyu tayari kashazama mimi ndio niko bado ninajitakasa sio nafanya kitu gani so it's like it's like you 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 were checked but you see somebody is like ah, this person is already full of full of, of the holy spirit but i'm still praying for forgiveness but this person is already in, in his spirit kwa sababu hakuanzia pale wewe ulipomona because that person did not start from where he saw them alikuwa naomba asubuhi na jana yake na juzi yake that person was praying in the morning even yesterday the day before yesterday that person was praying na me graduate namna fulani ya maombi and that person has already gra- graduated from a certain type of prayers 
Ndiyo maana mimi nakumbuka nilipo kwa mtu ndani nikataa yale maombi yale. Sasa sasa hivi tuombe msamaha sijui na we stop those kind of prayers. Because uh, you guys remember when I was a pastor I, I, I forbidden those kind, kind of prayers all this stuff. Let's pray for forgiveness, let's pray for the Yako na sehemu yake lakini nilikataa yale maombi there was a reason. Uh, those prayers it has its own time, its own place, but I refuse those kind of prayers. Because each time that we get into prayers, the first thing that people think about is their sins. <laughs> what did I do in the morning? I lied. Also, yesterday, it is not as powerful as when the Holy Spirit convicts you. When the Holy Spirit convicts you, kama roho wa Mungu mwenyewe amekukonvince akikonvict oh i can't believe roho wa Mungu mwenyewe anakukumbusha tutakwacha hapa kanisani unaomba unalia we gonna leave here in church you are, you are crying i don't know if this makes sense sijui kama umeelewa na nasema kila maombi yana sehemu yake and i said every prayer has its own place hata hayo pia ya ku ya kuomba msamaha yapo and even those type of prayers of uh, asking for forgiveness has its own place na tunayafanya hasa tunapofanya deliverance and we do those kind of prayers each time especially when we do the we ask people to ask for forgiveness wakati tunafanya ufunguo ndio mara nyingi tunaambia we lead you into forgiveness na tunakuongoza katika maombi ya toba kwa nini kwa sababu tumegundua kwamba watu wengi hawafunguliwi kwa sababu because we have realized there's, there's more people who not get delivered wasipoomba kwa sababu we that asking for forgiveness does this make sense just let me know to smile is worth it hallelujah amen tutaomba kidogo tu We're just going to pray for a few minutes. Na tutaomba Mungu atupe neema ya kudumu. And we're going to ask God to give us uh, the grace of persistence. Mwambie Mungu, tell God, naomba unipe neema ya kudumu katika kuomba. God, give me the grace of staying in prayers. Sitaki kushindana na mtu. I don't want to compete with anybody. Lakini nataka niwe bora kuliko kile nilichokuwa jana na juzi yake. But I want to be better than the person that I was yesterday. Anza kufungua mdomo wako mwambie Yesu, start opening your mouth to Jesus. Nipe neema ya kudumu katika maombi. God, give me the grace of standing. Nipe nguvu ya kudumu katika maombi. Give me the strength of standing. Sishindane na mwanadamu. I'm not competing with any human. Sishindane na kanisa. I'm not competing with any other church. Lakini Mungu nipe neema. But God, give me mwaka huu this year ndio nafasi yangu ya kudumu katika maombi this is my time for me to stay ndio wakati wangu mimi wa kukaa zaidi katika maombi this is my time for me to stay in prayer hey Lord. yesu hey jesus uyapange maisha yangu nana I write my life in the way ambayo nitaweza kuomba zaidi that I'm going to stay in prayer so niweze so kusikia sauti yako so I can hear your voice inua sauti yako na mimi nakuona kuombea Raise your voice so I inua sauti yako na mimi nakuona kuombea raise your voice and I'll be praying for you baba katika jina la yesu Baba katika jina la Yesu. Ninaombea watoto wako mfalme, wape neema katika mchana wa leo. Maombi yao yapate kwanza kuwa na nguvu. Wanaoshindwa kudumu, wakaanza kudumu katika maombi. Hapo zinazo kuatilia watoto wa Mungu. Sikawaachie sasa katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Jina pepo. Every 